massive air show in Pakistan's capital, Islamabad. The armed forces flex their muscles on the eve of Pakistan's National Day. Pakistan celebrates every year the very idea of its creation in the name of Islam over 80 years ago when this part of the world together with India was under the imperial rule of the British. The significant part of the air show was the acrobatic maneuverability of these warplanes known as JF Thunder. Pakistan indigenously manufactured them in cooperation with China after the US stopped the supplies of F-16 fighter jets. Pakistan is fast reducing its reliance on the US for military hardware with the growing role of China in the indigenous production of its high-tech weapons with focus on fighter jets. Pakistan is today manufacturing the JS-17, which has excellent capabilities uh, and uh, in a way is replacing the F-16. And if even the spares are denied to Pakistan, it seeks those from other countries or tries to manufacture it within Pakistan. The U.S. has many restrictions and sanctions. Uh, it's relying more and more on China and other European countries. These are the nuclear-capable missiles which Islamabad showed off to demonstrate its military might against arch-rival India. Pakistan had four wars with India, three of which over disputed Kashmir region, divided between two nuclear-armed neighbors in South Asia. Pakistan is a strong nuclear-armed state. Beyond an iota of doubt, the peace in the region is linked with the fair solution of Kashmir dispute. We want to move forward with a desire of peace, but let me make it clear that our desire for peace must not be mistaken our weakness. Any misadventure against Pakistan would be responded back with a full force. Kashmir dispute between two nuclear-armed neighbors have become a nuclear flashpoint after New Delhi refused to implement UN Security Council resolutions which call for plebiscite. According to a study by American think tanks like Carnegie Endowment for International Peace and Simpson Center, Islamabad is far outspacing New Delhi in the development of nuclear warheads, and Pakistan would possess more nuclear weapons than any other country except Russia and U.S. within the next four to five years. Javed Rana, Press TV, Islamabad. The growing tide of anti-Israel sentiments. What you see behind me is just tip of the iceberg of what is happening in the country. More than half of $52 billion black CIA budget is spent on espionage network in Pakistan. How would you handle it? The US uh, has looked upon Pakistan as an ally at one point and then uh, as an enemy at the same time. That is going to be the first legal reason on the basis of which he is going to be instantly ousted by the Supreme Court of Pakistan. Joining us live, uh, Javed Rana, who's an expert on politics and geostrategic issues. In the world politics, which is not being driven by any moral principle, it is being driven by the hard geostrategic realities. In a broader picture, more countries would aspire to have nuclear weapons.